I welcome to Pies Crafty Creations. Thanks for taking time out of your day to hang out, chit chat, craft, and create with me. Today I'm coming on with Watercolor Wednesday. And I'm using this ink here. It says it's waterproof. So I figured we would give it a try. Fast drying and waterproof. So I'm working on some sentiments for an upcoming journal. And I thought we would give it a shot and see how it comes out. I went through and I stamped all my sentiments that I want on it and I'm going to remove it from here just in case the paper runs. I don't want it to be in the way. And I got this one at Hobby Lobby, the Master's Touch. I think it was 40% off. So I have my palette that I got at um, Five Below that I'm going to use. And I'm going to go ahead and prime my colors using the squirt bottle. And I'm just adding some water to them so it softens them up. I'm not sure exactly what colors I'm going to use, but I want to get them a little bit wet to begin with. I know it's going to be in the first couple of rows. So I'm just going to squirt those with some water. And I'm using a regular brush this time. I'm not. And we're just going to start. I really wanted to see how this ink would work and if it's going to work or not. So my ink my ink my watercolors are nice and wet over here and I'm just getting those ready so we'll start with this color here and I'm just gonna like let it happen the way it's gonna happen <laughs> let things take the way they're gonna go and we'll see what it looks like after kind of like um there is a word for it, but it's escaping me right now. I forget what they call it. I don't remember. Okay, so I'm just going to let the colors go however they go and just drag them. And I might have a little bit too much water on the palette here. So we'll soak some of that up. Oh, that's so pretty. That is really pretty. So, so pretty. So I had to um, get rid of that, but it was really pretty. I loved how it was coming out. So far, I'm liking that the ink is not running with these colors at all. And I like how the colors are looking so far, nice and blended. They blend really good. Really pretty. I'm not sure what that is, so it might be a part of the palette. Let's try some pink in here. I wish I could still remember the name of what they call this type of creating, but I don't remember it. But it's really pretty, right? The way the colors blend together. And I'm kudos to the ink. I really thought that it wasn't going to hold up very well. But I got a shock on that one. It held up really nicely. It's still showing brightly through all these beautiful colors. Really, really pretty. Got a little bit of red in here. Well, it's actually orange. <laughs> thought that was going to be a red. I looked it. Let's see if this is a red. I'll move off a little bit. That's more of a red. We'll get a little bit up here as well. I'm just using a blending brush to get these and I'm kind of just going on an angle with them. Hmm. What color should we do next? Let's try this pale orange up here. 
And we'll put it down here in this one. Ooh, that's a pretty orange. I like that one. These are going to look gorgeous after when we cut them all up. Add some yellow in there. They're going to look very summery and very spring. Like that. Very pretty. Um, let's add a little bit of green. No. Let's stick to the same color palette. We'll stick with the oranges and the pinks and the reds. I'm just trying to smooth it so it's a little bit smoother blending. These are going to look pretty, right? Really pretty colors. Um, let's do a little bit more yellow over here. I think we're creating, kind of creating like an ombre effect a little bit with the colors, the way they're going. They're going to look so pretty when we chop them all up. Let's go for this orange. I don't think I've used this one yet. Ooh, that one's a bright one. That one's a pretty orange. Add a little bit more water to it and see. Oh, it blends really nicely too. So we have that nice thick there. And I think I'm going to finish off with a yellow. I don't think we've used this one. It's really pale. Oh, that's pretty. It's tending to curl a little bit because I've got, I think, more water than the paper wants to hold, but that's okay. I think they're pretty. And they'll look really gorgeous in some projects. Okay, so the watercolor part is done, I think. Maybe. Let's add this orange over here. Because that one, it looks like it's gone this way only. And we want to have a little bit of that broken up. Because I want that same angle on all of them. That looks pretty. Which one was it? This one? Yeah. That's such a pretty color. Kind of looks like the rainbow's going raw. Oranges and yellows and reds only. It's really, really pretty. I like that orange. Got those peachy vibes to it. Really pretty. And I really love like a sunset orange. Get that down here too. Oh, it's all full with that going the same direction. There we go. Now they're all going the same direction. So I'm going to let them dry and I'll come back and we'll chop them up. Okay, so it's pretty dry. I mean, it's a little, it's, it's dry enough that we can chop it up. It does feel a little chalky from the way the paper feels, but that's okay. We can go ahead and chop this baby up and do what I want to do with it. And I do have a chopper, however... The way I stamped these is a little odd. So we're going to have to do it a different way. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut them all out and then we'll go from there. Trimming them up and whatnot. Doing a rough cut on them. I'll give you an idea what they're going to look like. So they really look really pretty really love the way they look all separated and everything 
really gorgeous. I was a little heavy handed with some of them because the, the ink on that one doesn't show as much. But for the most part, I think the watercolor works really well with um, doing them on here. And I'll have some beautiful colored sentiments to put onto junk journals and whatnot and cards and tags and things like that. They're really pretty. And I'm surprised um, the ink works really well. It's really gorgeous too. Okay, so let's chop this up a little bit better. So there we go. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? I love the colors. It's really gorgeous. So I'm going to save the bits that are off of there and I'm going to save those and we'll put them on a master board later on. Oh, that one looks pretty too. Really love how they look. They're so pretty. <sighs> So cute too and you can you choose your colors that's the one thing I love about this choosing the colors that you use with them and the size of your sentiment Isn't that one pretty too I love this color scheme really gorgeous so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fussy cut them all up and make them pretty and whatnot and then um, if you watch my videos on a regular you'll see them in different projects that I use Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.